I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Hello, Sunflowers. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another day of a Vlogmas. I am so excited for today's video. I'm going to be doing a grocery shopping vlog slash grocery haul and organize my kitchen video. Kind of just all sorts of things happening. Really quick before I pop in the store, I wanted to give you guys like a life update because I know the past few Vlogmas episodes, I guess you would call them, or daily uploads have been filmed from like the course of November. And that's basically like I was stocking up on videos for when the days in December where I also work a retail job the days that I'm working like the whole day and have nothing to show you that way I'm ahead on vlogs and so all of my vlogs can be like quality good content for y'all so I just gave myself that little head start with those videos but things are going to start being more real time just to update you guys though this is actually right before vlogmas or like December starts when I'm filming this but I just wanted to give you guys a life update because just to kind of bridge the gap between my last few videos and like tomorrow's video. So I just celebrated Thanksgiving break at home with my family. I got back actually this morning, deep cleaned my apartment, and that's what I'm grocery shopping for the next two weeks basically of finals. That I'm gonna be up at school, obviously vlogging every day, bringing you guys along for this like finals college process. I know it's about to be hectic and crazy. Lots of things do. Literally so many presentations, just like so 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 much. But we got this. I'm bringing you guys along for all of it. And I'm feeling really good that we're like staying up to date with uploads and everything. And yes, we we love it here. But I just actually parked at Aldi's. I might go to Aldi's and Walmart. It depends if I find everything here. Aldi's is the cheapest grocery store I have personally found around my college town. So I figured I would start here. I have a little mini list on my phone. Here's my phone. All right. So let's go inside. I'll probably just get a few clips because I ain't going to lie. This is like a stacked parking lot probably because everyone just got back from break and college kids uh, all these watching me film like it's a lot to unpack but let's go shopping <laughs> guys so update time i just got home from all these in walmart you guys saw i went to both i got some staples of all these sometimes i have more like fun food items and like my staples i feel like so i went to both i'm about to spread them all out on the counter to give you guys a haul and then we will put them away i forget with being home for the weekend having like my mom and obviously like my family get all the groceries since i was staying in my childhood house i forgot how time consuming it is just like just to get food for the week but honestly i kind of stocked up and got food for the next two weeks so i shouldn't really have to go to the grocery store again again before christmas break because i already also have like some veggies and fruit and meat and stuff that is already good which i need to go through when i put this stuff away but let's do a grocery haul all right so i just want to start this off by saying i got way more food than i typically get again because i just know finals are going to be crazy this next week with all this vlogmas filming and so i just wanted to get almost pretty much everything i needed for the next two weeks i could always stop at a gas station if i need to get little things to hold me over this next weekend but i literally just want to like not have to go to walmart again until i'm back home so this is a little conglomeration of the food i got i already have like i said some different like produce and things that i didn't need to restock on but i got a lot of snacks because finals and trying to bring myself happiness and you know all right let's go through everything i got okay first up i got these triscuit crackers this has been like my favorite lunch to do triscuit crackers cheese and hard salami literally been my favorite thing ever and it's just quick and easy and takes like obviously no meal prep time so i love that i got craft spirals a little comfort food like i said the next week's gonna be stressful and also this is just a super cheap dinner so we love that this is not a grocery item but i just needed grazers and i always get the men's ones because they're more affordable than the female ones and the only difference is that they're like blue not pink so you know Okay, so then I got this chicken fajita. This is basically frozen chicken. The stuff lasts forever, which is great. I plan on doing um, chicken, rice, sauce, and like a side of spinach salad, like most nights for dinner this week. So pick that up because I'll definitely add that. 
Stormy is checking out the scene. I got this Winking Owl Moscato. I have friends coming up this coming weekend, and I figured if I don't want to go back to the store to get any drinks, I already have some like seltzers here, and this was literally $2 at Aldi's, so I thought I would try a $2 wine, because why not? And then I got this Buffalo Cream Cheese Dip. I can do wraps with this, and this will be really easy lunch for school days. I got pineapple chunks to kind of beat those like sugar cravings. I need more natural sugar, and then here is not natural sugar. I got snowman cookies because it is Christmas time, and this always makes me feel like very festive. So got those to enjoy, and I got a perfect bar. This is just the dark chocolate chip peanut butter one. We'll see how it is. It's like a refrigerated granola bar. If you guys have tried this before, let me know. I got Kodiak Power Flapjacks. Stormy wants to be in the video. So bad. Sorry, queen. This is not your video. Let me know if I should do a Stormy Day in the Life for Vlogmas. Do you want me to? Yes. But yes, okay, so I'm just gonna be up here because she is interested. So we got some Power Flapjacks from Kodiak Cakes. These are really, really good. I had them at home this past weekend when I was home. So I figured that'd be an easy, more like filling breakfast instead of just always having Cheerios. And then I got two of these from Aldi's. I've never had this brand before. They're the Sparkling Frost. So I got Black Raspberry and I also just got Lemonade. I thought this would be like fun drinks, especially just to spice up my meals since I'm going to try and not yet eat out to save money. And then I also got original syrup for these flapjacks because I've actually never bought syrup for this apartment. So pick that up. Right. Someone wants chicken. But then I got baby spinach organic. This is from Aldi's. I really like Aldi's spinach better than Walmart, which is weird, but just a random fun fact. And then we move into, I know some of this is unhealthy, but like the very unhealthy section. This is called actually just like a real college survival moment. So these are some of my favorite snacks to have. These are the naturally flavored peanut butter sandwich crackers from Aldi's. Literally so good to eat in between classes and studying and stuff. This just looked really good and I was hungry when I went shopping. So I got Bake Shop Lemon Cake from Aldi's. I had this this summer on vacation for the first time and it like absolutely smacked. So I will be enjoying this and treating myself to this after long days of studying, editing as I should. This is some snowman cookies. That's the vibe check. I got this giant pack of ramen, which I've actually avoided buying the whole time I've lived here because I knew I would eat too much of it and I know it's really salty and just like not the best for you. But these next two weeks, as I keep saying, are gonna be insane. And you know what? I'm just gonna allow myself, if I have a crazy day and I don't wanna make dinner, I'm gonna eat ramen because it's a literally a few cents and this was just a really cheap way to get a bunch of meals. So, real life check. And lastly, I got Coke. I have also done a really good job of not keeping soda in my apartment, but I'm gonna need some caffeine, so. I also, over break, my family kept Coke at their house and I was like, became back obsessed with it, which is not great, but you know what? This just makes my meal more exciting, so it is what it is. I picked up a pack. I got a 10 pack of minis. I like the minis for living alone, so I feel like I never like finish a can. And I obviously can't split it with anyone. So that is the grocery haul. Got a Stormy from Petco. <laughs> so really what I need to do is just like go through my pantry and my fridge, just like you guys can see how messy this has gotten see what snacks are good what's bad same with my fridge I think most of this is actually still good there might be a few things like those grapes might be old but overall my fridge is looking pretty good I cleaned it out before I left and also yeah these these were great because I expected these to be bad when I came back and I guess since it's not like just milk they last forever so that's awesome all my cheese is still good because I recently bought it so I'm just gonna kind of organize this is definitely not good Ew. Okay, I'm gonna throw this out and I need to throw this out And yeah, but overall this could have been a lot worse with the fact that I've been home for the past like a week and a half All right guys, so I am going to organize my fridge and pantry and So time for an update time. It's hard to have it perfect organized just because I am a lot more stocked up on food than I typically will be as I've explained But I'll give you guys a quick little fridge and pantry tour post organizing and that will be all for today's little video So let's wrap this up. All right So give you guys a little behind the scene of my fridge because it's more full than it typically is I actually am using my side organizer for the first time in my apartment since I bought 
a bunch of Cokes. And then I have like my fruit, cheese dips, and cheese tray. Lots of leftovers up here. I need to transfer these eggs to here. I just realized that, well, I'll do that after I finish filming. I have a bunch of cans of like seltzers and stuff for when I have friends over or whatever. And then here I have my spinach, grapes, obviously my Christmas cookies, different little snack options here. It's like potato, carrots, my perfect bar, drinks. Destroys all my cheeses and like obviously cheese crackery type things. Over here I have some meats. And then my doors are pretty much the same. I didn't really need any new sauces or anything. And then I didn't need too much organization down here. I just added my Kodiak cakes and my chicken. And I need to have these over break. I just don't have the best blenders. I might say some for January, but these like revive snack things would make really easy meals over these next few crazy weeks. Okay, and then lastly, my pantry. Y'all know I love my pantry. I have all my like teas, honey, collagen, all of that. Here, this is kind of organized chaos because I have so much food right now. It's kind of stacked with junk food here. I have my little Kodiak cake mixes, stashes, lots of different snack things, crackers. This is just like a giant thing of little snacks I can take to class with me. And then up here, I have all my noodles, which is a lot right now because I got that ramen and that mac and cheese. So that's going to be all for today's little college grocery shop with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is like a real behind the scenes of like what I really eat every week, what I need to pick up at the store. Just bringing you guys along for these activities that I always do that I typically don't show on camera. So yes, I'll see you guys in my next video, which because it is a vlogmas, it is, will actually be tomorrow, which is so crazy. I'm having so much fun with these daily uploads and I'll see you guys then.